In event-driven programming and object-orientated programming, you do see these things called classes as well as objects. Now, an object is a group of related code and data encapsulated into one single object. So, for example, in a game you might have a player object, and that player might contain a bitmap for the graphic for the player, it might contain how much energy they've got, it might contain what score they've got. And that object exists a bit like a variable in RAM, and it exists in RAM while that program is running. Now, to create that object, you create what is called a class. A class is like a blueprint for an object. So you only create it once, the class, and you create all the code and put in all the different variables and things that you might need in that one object class. And then when you need it, you create an instance of it. Now, the best way I can explain this is building houses. If you were to build a house, you'd create a blueprint for a house, a particular design of house. And then every time you want to build a house, you just use the blueprint to build another copy of that house. It's how housing estates are built. In that same way, you create your class which sets out how your object wants to be, and then when you're running your program, you create copies of that object class to run in RAM ready for use in the program. 